Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night, June 14th, 2025 is the date, 1121 a.m. or p.m. 1121 p.m. I'm not going to bed in the morning. I'm going to bed at night. Yeah. Hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. Still got one more day left here. Uh, latest activity shows a zero, a magnitude zero there across, uh, looks like Nevada. Not for sure what that's about. Just a, maybe an earthquake that has not yet been uh, reviewed. Well, shows a negative earthquake there outside of Las Vegas. As uh, far as uh, movement here across the West Coast, let's go ahead and see what's going on here across the uh, California area. Uh, pretty much when we, when we hit the 2.5 and above map, well, that removes all of the earthquakes there across California. So... Not a super active day. There is some microquake activity out there around the Garlock Fault shear zone still. That's still just been ramping up, and it has been over the last couple months. Uh, also some movement there along the San Jacinto Fault zone and a little bit down here off the Elsinore Fault. Nothing big going on here for now across Southern California. Same for the Bay Area. Bay Area is absolutely quiet. Northern California quiet as well let's go ahead and check out the trimmer cascadia trimmer activity see what we got going on uh, 184 epicenters of trimmer mainly up there across the vancouver island ranges uh, some down around the central coast of oregon starting to kick back up here uh, really no earthquake activity that i can see in terms of uptick across those areas but obviously as the uh, plate there, the Juan de Fuca plate is being pushed underneath the North American plate. That's building up strain there across the Cascadia, the locked area. But nothing showing up there as far as any earthquake activity goes for now across these regions. Uh, same for the Washington area, just a couple smaller earthquakes. Idaho, uh, one earthquake here from, uh, that's actually from last night. Or early this morning, just after midnight. Things have uh, taken a turn for the quietness there across the Stanley, Idaho area. As uh, far as the Yellowstone National Park Super Volcano, we'll see what we have going on there across the area. Uh, really not a whole lot. I do see one earthquake here around a little west of them. That's going to be this earthquake right here. Uh, showed up on Old Faithful and um, that's about it. But uh, USGS not showing that earthquake most of the time here during the weekends or holidays they will not report on anything unless it's above a 2.5 level unless a geologist or a seismologist adjust the um, preliminary reporting but nothing above 2.5 so we'll catch that on monday morning but uh you know otherwise there's it's pretty quiet out there across yellowstone no doom and gloom on the horizon for now uh, oil field to Texas getting hammered out here. Quite a bit of increasing movement there uh, across the Permian Basin, also south of San Antonio. <clears throat> One earthquake outside of uh, Millet. I think that's correct. Uh, a lot of oil fields here. Some of these areas have not gotten hit with a lot of earthquake activity recently, but I guarantee you that is in the forecast in, in the future here. Oil fields that have not gotten hit with earthquake activity in recent times will get hit. Uh, this is just one of the prime examples here of uh, this earthquake south of San Antonio, southwest of San, Ant uh, San Antonio. Don't really see a lot of activity out here, but we're starting to get some newer regions hit. Uh, all these oil fields there in the checkered boxes, some uh, wastewater ponds up to the north. That is not a swimming pool. For the hard-working oil folks out there i guarantee you you do not want to go swimming in that uh one earthquake outside of the new madrid seismic zone taking a look here uh, a couple newer earthquakes on the map one up in alaska 3.3 way north a lot of movement up here northward uh in the northern alaska now these inland quakes here are a result of strain out here against the plate boundary we don't get these earthquakes for nothing uh, the compact the compaction that's going on here against the North American and the Pacific plate is incredibly strained right now. That's why we're seeing a lot of earthquake activity well north off of the plate boundary. So that means we need to watch the subduction zone. This earthquake right here may very well be a key indicator of an area where to watch along that subduction zone area. Uh, obviously, 9.0 earthquakes are not out of the question out here across this area. 
Watch this region closely. A couple earthquakes down here across the South America area as well. This is a pretty deep earthquake, 135 miles for that 4.5 along the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, watch for some further upstream movement. South Sandwich Trench there. Looks like we've got a little bit of activity right now. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, 5.3 this evening. That, uh, well, continues up there in the northern edge of the South Sandwich Trench, a subduction zone here. Uh, a little bit of, uh, really not much filling in down south here. Most of the activity has been confined up to the north. Uh, but I do expect this to fill in here. It may take, you know, a couple days, may take a couple weeks, but eventually we'll see some larger earthquake activity work its way down across that subduction zone. Uh, let's see what we got here for New Zealand. Not a whole lot going on there for now. 3.6 off the North Island coast. Quiet there across the Papua New Guinea area eastward up into about uh, Fiji Islands area. No major earthquake activity there across the Western Pacific now. Typical movement going on across the Java Trench and the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, one earthquake way up there. Look at that. North of Russia. A little 4.9. I've noticed a lot of earthquake activity happening here across the northern area of the globe. Uh, nothing major going on across the Caribbean for now. There's that 4.1 along the Perchilli Trench. That's actually a newer one, it looks like. Uh, there's that 4.5, super deep one. Pretty good clustering going on right now across the Perchilli Trench northward. Uh, I know we've had a, a swarm of activity out here in the uh, Pacific, southeastern Pacific. Normally when things are active out here, it puts a strain out there on the Nazca Plate, uh, which interacts here with the uh, it's a Peru Chile Trench in the South America region. Uh, so watch that closely. Aside from that, northern area of the Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Uh, typical movement out there across the Mediterranean and the Middle East. Nothing big going on there for now far as earthquake activity goes. Space weather events had an M flare earlier. That's from the departing sunspot, 4105. Produce a uh, M flare up in the M6.8 level. Now, it was a very impulsive event. No CME was associated with that uh, flaring. Even if it was, it's too far off there on the western limb to be directed at Earth. Uh, we do have one bright feature here on the UV image of the sun. That is, uh, let's see where that's coming from here. Looks like 4111. Going to be this area back here. Got to be that area, right? That center. Uh, a little bit of flaring going on there right now. It doesn't look like there's anything majorly complex there, but uh, maybe it's starting to form rapidly. Uh, because it is flaring right now with some sea flare activity on that UV image that we've seen there. A pretty bright feature. Uh, do you have to watch this region back over here as well? It's growing quite rapidly. And there's a bunch of these little popcorn deep colors popping up all over the place there. That's a sign that the sunspot is rapidly progressing into a larger, more complex area. And that uh, could produce some stronger M. Uh, and maybe even some X flare activity out there from 4114. So watch that closely. Got that sunspot directly facing us here. So, uh, and look at it here on the visible disc. Quite complex. That's something that you want to see if you want some stronger flares. Right now, flare threat has been bumped up to about 15% chance for an X flare. M flare at 55% chance there due to the complexity of, the, of that sunspot. No major roars in the forecast and nothing going on there as far as any aurora activity for now. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, the remainder of the night, storms up in the north uh, for the Sunday outlook remains across the north here around Montana, Wyoming, Dakotas, down into Nebraska. We do have a slight chance there for some tornado activity, 2% chance there across this area in the green. Also a tad bit here across the eastern portion of the country. Wind and some hail appear to be the big threats there for your Sunday. So just a heads up. Uh, not a huge population density up there. That's actually kind of nice. I do like that. Um, 
but there's yeah not a whole lot of uh, um, big cities. I, I guess you got buildings outside the zone here, but uh, for the folks that do live out there, uh, keep your eye on the sky when it comes to the wind and some big time hail threats. As uh, far as uh, anything else coming down here across the uh, tropics, as far as the Gulf of, uh, down here across the uh, Gulf states, let's see what we got going on here. No major hurricanes entering into that area. Nothing there in the forecast. Of course, that's all subject to change. All right, uh, seismograph stations all online right now. They periodically go offline and then they'll come back online. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, did a reset of everything today, updated everything. It's just something to do with the server intermittent data blackout going on there with a couple of the seismograph stations. But they're all online right now. Uh, we will catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning for the Sunday morning update. Have yourself a wonderful evening and uh, make sure you guys stay safe out there. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. Take care of yourself. We'll see you guys out here in the morning.